I'm Chucky. An animal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Creative day today. I haven't done a vlog in ages. We're heading down to Osaka, where my buddy Zane, who we did the fashion show with before, which I'll put a link in this video so you can check it out. We're gonna go down there. There's sort of this collaborative meetup where we're gonna meet all these different photographers. There's a couple of themes through the day and I'm gonna cover the event, make a vlog of it and see what the photographers are doing, the sort of choices they make. And we get to explore Osaka. I've never actually been to a studio there, so it should be a lot of fun. I was so excited for the possibility to go to the beach. Life updates for how it's been in Japan recently, just to give a context. Insanely, insanely humid, and today we got crazy, crazy rain, and so it's making it, the expression is mushiatsui. For me, it's like the most brutal thing in the world. I'm used to like dry heat. No matter how long I live in Japan, I never get used to it. It's brutal. Look at this art. Oh, Japan, never change, never change. You're taking the Nankai line. <laughs> Okay, walk with me. So we're in the we're in Osaka now, and we're almost at the station we're going to. We're going a little south. It's sort of the obligatory comment you have to make about Osaka is that it's more bohemian, and people are a little more carefree here. They're not so adherent to the rules, which is a cool energy if you are the sort of creative type and the sort of people we're going to meet. So if you're coming to Japan and you're interested in a place that you want to be a little more artistic and a little more free, Osaka is really cool for that. Let's go. We've arrived to Sakai Station and the studio is like a five minute walk away from here, so not far, but it's 12 o'clock, so we're gonna grab some food, charge up before we go get creative. Nichi nichi kore kojitsu. Hibikore. Okay, I think maybe we go here. What's that? <laughs> okay. Mm. okay. Ooh. Do you know chicken number? Chicken number. Oh, is it like? No, I don't actually. What's that like? I guess it's kind of like mayonnaise thing. Okay, cool, cool. Very cool detail about a place like this. When you come, you can buy a bottle, put your name on it, and then whenever you come back to the restaurant, you can just pick up your bottle and go to work on it. It looks like that is very, very popular to do here. Okay, so this is the taco wasa, and it's raw octopus with wasabi. I never tried it before. It's a good example of when something may not look like you're going to enjoy it, but it's actually really, really good. I like it. There's a type of flavor in Japan, it's called neva neva, and it means slimy. And it's like the one thing that I struggle with, but sometimes it's okay, case in point. Ooh. 
we finally arrived to Studio DA. Fourth floor. Okay, so we arrived. This is the studio here we're going to be working in today. Basically, we're vlogging. We're just here to have fun. But there's a variety of different stations that are set up, and everybody kind of has a theme. So they're going to do like glamour, or they're going to do whatever it is that they want to do. It's sort of free form. We're going to hang out. It looks really, really cool. Lots of talented people here. It should be fun. Today we're standing with one of the models from today. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Mizuka. I'm dancer and uh, I'm just something to modeling today. Yeah, today. Do you have any like? Do you have Instagram or any place people could find your work? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, like Instagram <laughs> or anything like that mm. for people to see your work. Ah, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Cool. Do you do you want to share? Yeah. What's your What's your Instagram? My Instagram is Johnson Mizuka. Johnson Mi Mizuka. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, Mizuka. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yo, what's up? What's up? And who's this guy? I am Zane. I am the one who kind of helped to coordinate the event. It's a photo shoot event. So we got eight different photographers and then they have eight different themes and then we have models who basically apply to join the theme and we try to get stylists and makeup artists to come in to get like a community type of photo shoot but make it like a pro photo shoot so you see it man it's going on live right now sick really cool meeting everybody here today. I was going in blind. I, <laughs> I don't know anyone other than Zane really. And Leon, he's here as well. We could do like an intro him, but it's really cool. This is, uh, since it's informal, it may appear as a professional thing that's going on, but we're just coming here to be creative. It's uh, that kind of all walks of life. I'd recommend if you're in Japan and if you are creatively minded, if you can ever get a sort of social circle like this, just try and get out and do it because the sort of like networking that you do is amazing. It's, it's fun to be at an event like this. I like just coming and hanging out, but the connections that you make could turn into some potential gig. You, you never know. It's, it's really not what you know, it's who you know. And it's so important in the expat community in Japan, if you want to leave a mark that you, you start to integrate yourself into the social fabric. So getting out, doing something like this, well worth your time. <laughs> Three, two, one. We have the lovely Cesara. Please Hello. introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Cesara. I am 21 years old. I am from Bali and currently in Japan. And we're having a shoot today. Awesome. And what is your goal? for your modeling? What do you want to get into? Ooh, my goal is to be on a billboard. That's always been my goal since I was a okay. kid. Yeah. Sweet, we're talking like 
Times Square, that kind of thing, New York. I think Shinsaibashi. Shinsaibashi, first, that's the way. Just okay. Just because I want to represent, you know, my culture, the and I want my my grandma to take a picture in front of the billboard, <laughs> so she could just like, oh, this is my granddaughter. Do it for the fam. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, okay. thank you very much. Thank Sisera. you so much. Bye bye. Cheers. We wish you all the luck. Everyone in the comments, give her the support she deserves. First things first, big thank you to Zane for organizing the event today. You're a, uh, a prince, a god among men, and I really appreciate it. I've never done something like that. To comment on the people who were there, which you've seen through the course of the video, amazing. It was all ages, all skill sets, all ability levels. It didn't matter where you were from, what level you were at. Everybody gelled really well together and was just creating some really incredible art. I had so much fun. There's not much more to say other than that. Thank you for watching the video. If you don't already support me on Patreon, please do consider doing so. That's how the channel keeps rolling along and growing. You guys are great. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. And as usual, there'll be many more. That's all for now. Bonus footage? Yeah. <laughs> what shall we discuss? Anything. Existentialism? Yeah. Why come Japan? Uh. Oh, honestly, it was because of a friend. Because Thought of your friends? Yeah, because of Drew. I came here because he's a wonderful guy. He left when I was eight years old, came to Japan, and I wondered where he went. And mm. so after things fell apart in my life in some ways back when I was in Canada, he offered this as another direction for me, where he said, you remember how we were going to like live together in Japan, or you might work there while I was working there? Why don't you try it, man? And so I thought, I got nothing to lose. Let's try it out. Never looked back since.